what's going on guys uh just a random video for you uh and i want to share with you guys about this new fragrance uh that i just purchased a few days ago uh this is an absolutely fantastic stunning amazing delicious fragrance that i just found out about it uh so use a quick story behind this fragrance uh, i went to uh, a sand bar uh, which is the retail store from lucky sand um, uh, in los angeles and uh by the way uh, i i want to thank uh steven the manager of the store he's so knowledgeable about fragrances he's so he's a very nice guy uh very helpful and <clears throat> uh he has always a smile on his face, so that's pretty nice. Uh, fantastic customer service. Uh, and of course, I want to thank the, the rest of the guys in the store. Uh, they're fantastic people uh, that work in that store. Uh, but anyway, so I stopped by this uh, uh, the same, uh, same bar store a uh, few weeks ago. Uh, and I just noticed these bottles. Uh, and they told me that they were uh, a new niche uh, brand. Uh, so I decided to try them. <clears throat> uh, very or original uh, fragrances uh, uh, from this house. Uh, I grabbed a couple of samples from this uh, brand, and uh, I tried them on my skin. Uh, uh, days uh, passed by, so I fell in love with with one one of these fragrances, and I just purchased it a few days ago. Like I said. Uh, very expensive fragrances. Uh, they come with a uh, in a uh, 30 milliliters uh, small bottles for uh, I think 140 150 bucks and 100 milliliters for 240 dollars plus taxes. So it's a little bit expensive. Uh, what is very interesting about this uh, house? Uh, the name of the uh, of the brand is uh, Fuegia 1833 Patagonia. This is an Argentinian uh, niche f uh, house, by the way, uh, which is very interesting about this uh, this brand is uh, they don't want to make fragrances <clears throat> like all of them with top notes, middle notes, and base notes. So they try to make fragrances with an uh, atom type of shape, uh, atom type of. Uh, uh, yeah, function uh, about the scent. So these are fragrances that they supposed to have very few notes or ingredients. Uh, one that is supposed to be the main note, the main scent, and the few others that are supposed to be around the main scent. Uh, so basically, you have two uh, expecting very linear fragrances out of this uh, brand. <coughs> But the few that I have tried, they're amazing. They're stunning. But the one that I, I didn't try all of them, to be honest. Uh, but the few that I tried, this was my, uh, you know, must buy. This is absolutely, absolutely beautiful and delicious. Uh, this fragrance is a gourmand. It's not actually a gourmand like a pastry, you know, cakes, desserts type of thing. This is more like a se semi, uh, semi gourmand. Uh, this is more like a drinkable vibe type of scent, uh, uh, and I want to make this video because I want to show you how the packaging of these fragrances it is. So what uh, what you guys are about to see, uh, talking about packaging, everything was recyclable. Uh, of course, not the liquid of the perfume, but like I say, all the packaging is recyclable, uh, starting from. Uh, the cards this is recyclable paper uh, this is actually an unboxing video I haven't opened this fragrance to be honest because I want to show you guys what is all this about you guys can see in here it has the name of the fragrance right here on the top which is Soquatl uh, the name of this fragrance uh, this is a pre-hispanic Aztec name uh, Soquatl is the name of this fragrance uh, this is a Hispanic word uh, used for chocolate, uh, which is the modern chocolate. Uh, there's also another word which, uh, which is uh, instead of socolatl, you can also say so socolatl, uh, which obviously is that the um, 
from the names from the upper Hispanic names derives the uh, the name you know, chocolate. Um, so this is the fragrance, the name of the fragrance, Soquatl. As you guys can see in the top, it says floral, uh, vanilla, cacao, and rum, and that's supposed to be it on the ingredients. Uh, you have the name of the uh, <coughs> uh, the name of the brand right here, information of the bottle, uh, directions, and made in Argentina, blah blah blah. Uh, and you also have this little paper. Where it says it's basically the same thing, uh, but it has a little bit more uh, specific information of the ingredients. Uh, so this is recyclable paper, like I told you guys. Even this uh, cheap looking string, it's recyclable. It was recycled, so <clears throat> they pro it's probably look cheap. The uh, the um, you know all the packaging but it's pretty awesome you know the uh, all the uh, ideas about this uh, packaging about doing uh, recyclable things and made it all the presentation of the fragrances it's beautiful uh, oh man this is this, I'm making a big mess right here alright so there you go the string The next is this cheap looking paper too, uh, but it was recycled paper, so it's pretty nice. Uh, by the way, all these fragrances come packaged in the same type of uh, wrapping thing. The only way you can find out uh, the name of the fragrance uh, when it's brand new is right here in the bottom. You guys can see this very, very small uh, sticker. There you go, it says information, the name of the fragrance, uh, phone number, and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, even though it is a look, uh, cheap looking paper, it's very beautiful how the way they package, you guys can see it's overlapped pretty nicely. So, I'm gonna stop talking and open this baby so you guys can see. And here it is. It comes a box. Oh my god, I can smell this stuff. I hope it doesn't split. There you go, guys. You guys can see this is the box of the fragrance. It is a good box. Beautiful. This box, it was supposed to be made from fallen trees. Uh, this company never could cut any tree to make these uh, boxes. Uh, they make the boxes out of uh, trees uh, from local Patagonian forest. Uh, you guys can see in the top of the box it is burn carp, the F, which comes uh, from the Fuegia uh, brand. And this is the cap. Beautiful, good boxes, amazing. And here is. The, pa the packaging inside of the fragrance and it's more paper inside here there you go it has more paper which is supposed to be recycled paper you know that already and it has another small little card in here more information Okay, so basically it says uh, a 3.33 fluid ounces of the perfume, uh, flammable for external use only, avoid, avoid contact with eyes, keep away from children, product not, not tested on animals, okay. There you go, I'm not lying about that, whatever. Uh, here it is. More paper. This is this is more uh, nicely looking paper. This is more glossy type of uh, you know quality type of paper, but it's supposed to be recycled paper. And this paper is beautiful. I think this is gonna be the last paper. This is beautiful because it has uh, 
like a map printed on it which is amazing it looks pretty pretty awesome I will this stuff oh my god no paper come on there you go and here is the fragrance itself the bottle you guys can see very simplistic but very classic beautiful you know sharp lines uh, very clean looking clean very heavy glass by the way this is the fragrance it has a uh, chrome cap with the F right there and if you guys can see the name of the fragrance where it says so quattle it was signed by hand that's the bottom of the bottle it has the sticker the name of the fragrance and a little bit of information the fragrance itself it's supposed to have only a few notes which is vanilla uh, rum and cacao or cocoa or chocolate or however you want to call it uh, and yeah it is it's very beautiful uh, outstanding semi gourmet fragrances right here uh, like I told you guys the name uh, is a pre expanding name uh, for chocolate uh, which you have to expect to smell chocolate in this fragrance uh, but it's not any type of chocolate this is more like a hot cocoa uh, or hot chocolate drink beverage uh, this is beautiful stunning uh, I do have some uh, cinnamon uh, I do get some cinnamon out of this fragrance because uh, it has a spicy on on, on the and the scent uh, absolutely stunning fragrance beautiful uh, projection in long and longevity they're outstanding uh, the projection is not so great but I'm talking longevity uh, I can compare this fragrance with the original angel man uh, and of course uh, I will be reviewing this baby uh, very very soon uh, I think this fragrance is more for fall and winter because it's a, a pretty, uh, it, it's a little bit on the sweeter side, even though it's not a sweet, sweet fragrance, but it definitely has that sweetness uh, from the vanilla and cacao. Uh, but yeah, I will re be reviewing this fragrance very soon, so stay tuned for that. And of course, when I purchase this fragrance, I ask for some samples for you guys, for my subscribers, for all those guys that support me. Uh, that had been supporting me for all this time. Uh, I do have these two samples, and this one right here, which is this is a spray uh, atomizer, uh, and it pretty much has two samples on it, so you can actually wear it very. It makes some pretty nice full wearings out of this big guy right here, and I had this another two samples. So I'm gonna choose three different pe people. Uh, so you guys can try it and enjoy this beautiful fragrance the only thing that I'm asking you is that please you be my subscriber uh, be a gourmet lover uh, I don't I, I won't like to you know send these fragrances these samples to anybody uh, or to someone who don't like a uh, gourmet fragrances sweet fragrances so please be a gourmet sweet uh, type of you know fragrance guy or girl whatever and the only thing you have to do is pause down below which is your favorite gourmet fragrance and which you think is my favorite gourmet fragrance uh, of course i want to know that because i want to uh, try more gourmet fragrances uh, but yeah that's the only thing you have to do be my subscriber post down below which is your favorite gourmet fragrance and you just try to guess which is my uh, gourmet fragrance and I will choose three guys uh, and I will send these three samples to three different people I will post a video with the winners and everything uh, please be people in the United States only 
uh, I, I will feel really bad if I send this international uh, shipping shipping and uh, ship it and uh, they don't make it to their destination so please be only USA people uh, sorry about that guys uh, but yeah that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this long long video about this presentation I just want to share with you guys because this is a beautiful fragrance outstanding uh, where you can find this fragrance where you can find a sample of this luckysend.com the same bar retail store and I believe others the Venustas I think they have this too so if you have if you want to try it want to sample it or something check those websites and see you guys later thank you